After a long day at work or at an extremely stressful event there are few new things than a cold vodka cocktail. After all, a serving of vodka brings a good glass of wine to your system, helps you relax and causes dopamine to flow in your brain. Suddenly you are less worried than before and enjoy the warmth of the drink as it spreads throughout your body. In addition to those features, vodka is also a versatile alcoholic beverage. Making it a good choice to pair with a mixer for a delicious drink that packs a punch. And for the most part, vodka is reasonably priced. With many brands selling bottles that don't taste bad, even without mixers that hide the flavor of alcohol. So are you a person who likes to drink vodka every night? Are you wondering the possible effects on its body and system and whether they are good or bad? Read on to discover exactly what happens to your body when you drink vodka every night. 1. Your mood may improve. Indeed, a portion of vodka can improve mood and make you feel happy and satisfied, as Laura Krebsholm noted. A registered dietitian. Like most alcoholic drinks, vodka can help you relax, she told the list. Many people enjoy drinks in other people's companies, which can also help improve mood. Perhaps that's why so many people like to drink in bars or serve drinks at parties and special events. In addition, the consumption of alcohol can stimulate, there are other mechanisms. At work makes you feel comfortable drinking vodka every night, according to an article in Live Science. Most notably, drinking alcoholic beverages stimulates the release of endorphins, hormones that make you feel good and dull. Those are the same chemicals that are activated when you perform other pleasurable activities, such as eating, exercising and being intimate. According to McGill, McGill University, this is what can happen to your mouth if you drink vodka every night. Like other spirits, are disinfectants, according to McGill University. So if you've ever been in a difficult situation, you can use vodka to clean the house. Disinfect wounds or clean anything that needs to be disinfected on the fly, just make sure there's no any additive outside the country that will make it less sterile. Vodka's cleansing properties can also be used for your mouth, according to James Cobb, a registered nurse. If you vodka vodka in the mouth a little before swallowing your oral hygiene may improve, he explained to List. Vodka is an antiseptic. He noted that vodka has the potential to help prevent tooth decay. Cobb warns, however, that if you drink too much vodka, the negative consequences will negate any oral benefits. According to Healthline, vodka can dry out a person's mouth and cause damage because saliva is one of the mouth's natural defenses against damage. So if you want to drink vodka every night, just be aware that the effects on your oral health can be mixed. 2. You can lose weight. The choice of drinking vodka every night will not miraculously make you lose weight, although it is quite unbelievable. But if you choose vodka over beer and wine to drink, or a switching to vodka instead of something like schnapps to see what happens, you can lose weight, as noted by nutritionist Laura Krebs Holm. Like other distilled spirits, vodka is lower in calories than beer or wine per serving, she told the list. One shot, 1.5 fluid ounces, of vodka has about 90 calories. B because you probably won't need to drink as much vodka as beer or alcohol to feel the same effects, those calories are actually not bad. Just remember to pay attention when you combine your vodka with any mixer to compensate for the flavor of the wine. However, if it is mixed with a high-calorie sugar, juice, syrup, or soda, it can affect your weight loss efforts, Krebs Home added. So stick to water, a little lemon juice, or soda or juice if you are trying to lose some weight. 3. It can affect your sleep. Do you ever have problems sleeping at night, no matter how tired or busy you are? Did you switch to drinking a glass of vodka every night when you went to bed to help you relax and reduce insomnia best? Yes, that can have both good and bad effects, according to registered nurse James Cobb. If you drink a moderate amount of vodka before going to bed, it can make you sleep faster and sleep deeper, he told the list. Unfortunately, sleep will not be of the highest quality. So while it is definitely better not to sleep at all, the sleep you get after drinking is not as good as the old-fashioned natural sleep. The reason for this, according to Cobb, is because vodka has an impact on a particular type of sleep. All alcohol affects the REM rapid eye movement cycle, he continued. REM sleep is important for things like learning and brain health, and while that can make you feel rested. Therefore, your mileage may vary if you drink vodka every night. 3. Your cholesterol level may drop. Are you curious about the effect of vodka sleeping pills on your cholesterol level? It turns out, drinking a moderate amount of vodka every night can be good for them, according to nutritionist Laura Krebs Home. 
A study shows that vodka and wine can help improve cholesterol levels by increasing HDL cholesterol, also known as good cholesterol, in the blood. She told List. Another study found that both red wine and vodka may help heart health by increasing blood vessel formation. That doesn't mean you should start drinking vodka every night just because of the possible positive effect on your cholesterol levels, focusing on eating and exercise habits is a much smarter way to do things. There. Also, don't deny any good benefits of vodka by mixing it with sugary drinks, which can increase your bad cholesterol and triglycerides, according to Healthline. Instead, use a low-calorie mixer or add herbs and a fresh fruit kiss to add flavor to your drink. 4. Your stamina may increase. Do you notice that the longer you drink vodka each night, the more alcohol you need to achieve the same level of intoxication? That's not unusual, as noted by nutritionist Laura Krebs Home. Many people find that if they drink alcohol regularly, they will not feel the effects of alcohol as with one or two drinks, she shared with List. However, the health benefits only relate to moderate alcohol consumption, which is one drink for women and two drinks for men. Also, it's something that can be amplified as you get older, according to Dr. Nick Knight. People don't really know why but I doubt that's what to do with the fact that the more you come in contact with alcohol, the more the main enzyme that breaks down the alcohol in your liver, the more, he shared in an interview with the BBC Newsbeat. That's why people talk about increasing alcohol tolerance, because the liver has adapted to deal with it. 5. Your blood pressure may drop. According to the CDC, about 29% of Americans have high blood pressure, about 75 million. Unfortunately, having high blood pressure can put you at greater risk for heart disease and stroke, which are super common causes of death in the United States. On the bright side, if you drink vodka every night, it can help improve your blood pressure, according to Laura Krebs Home, a registered dietitian. Moderate alcohol consumption has been linked to improved blood pressure through its ability to relax blood vessels and help increase new blood vessel formation, she told the list. That said, people with high blood pressure should avoid drinking alcohol, vodka or otherwise, as this could lead to an increase in your already high blood pressure. Instead, to lower blood pressure, do the same things you would do to lower cholesterol, pay attention to diet, exercise, and quit smoking. Ready to quit smoking? This is what happens to your body when you quit smoking. 6. You may be hangover the next day. After you drink vodka all night, do you find it awful to wake up in the morning? Do you swear in the mornings when you never drink again? It is very likely that you are hangover, which can happen after drinking too much alcohol, according to the Mayo Clinic. If you've been hangover before, you'll know just how awful they can be. Although you can take steps to prevent and treat hangover, these breakfasts. According to Dr. Regina Krell, an expert at the Headache Center at the Institute of Neuroscience at Hackensack University Medical Center, will help you fight any hangover. The actual mechanism of what happens during hangover is unclear but is thought to be due to acetaldehyde toxicity, changes in electrolytes, dehydration and low blood sugar, she explained. In an interview with Hackensack Meridian Health, the most common symptoms during hangover include headache, nausea, dizziness, feeling drowsy or drowsy. So, to avoid hangover, you may not want to drink vodka every night, or at least no more than one drink. 7. It can affect your cognitive function. If you only drink one glass of vodka every night, you won't slow down your words or stumble. But if you're going back to shoot after firing, that could have a real impact on your cognitive function, according to Dr. Nick Knight. Some processes slowed down, he shared in an interview with the BBC Newsbeat. You get a reduction in your executive function, so your judgment, decision-making. He added, you become less inhibited and you want to take more risks than usual. That's why you should never drive after drinking a lot of alcohol, as it can be extremely dangerous, as noted by Dr. Knight. In the case of driving, you think you can create that angle, you think there's enough space between you and the car in front, etc., he continued. There is also a physical aspect, motor skills. This is how we use our arms and legs and our hands, the way we make decisions to spin the wheel when driving. So if you want to drink vodka every night, be sure to limit it. 8. Your immune system may weaken. Do you realize that since you start drinking vodka every night, you are more likely to get sick during the cold and flu seasons? Have you ever been ill, but now you seem inevitable? If so, maybe your daily intake of vodka is responsible for you in the weather, according to the Cleveland Clinic. That's because alcohol can have a negative impact on your immune system, leaving you susceptible to flu, colds and other infections. Of course, if you only have a moderate amount of vodka every day, you probably won't feel sick all the time. 
In fact, serving alcohol every day can boost your immune system, according to Medical News Today when reports of a study published in the journal Vaccine. But if you drink a lot, there's a good chance you'll catch everything that's going on around you, and that's certainly not a good thing. So if you want to drink vodka every night, don't overdo it. 9. Your digestion may be affected. Decompressing after working with a glass of vodka soda is a perfectly sensible way to relax, especially if it's a long or difficult day. But if you drink vodka continuously from the time you get home until you go to sleep a second time, you can damage your digestive tract in different ways, according to Healthline. For a person, drinking too much vodka can cause vaginal discharge, diarrhea, painful bowel movements, a feeling of fullness and bloating. In addition, it can cause you to develop hemorrhoids, ulcers in the stomach and even internal bleeding, which is just as dangerous as it sounds. Drinking too much vodka every night can also damage your intestines, which can lead to malnutrition because your body cannot properly absorb nutrients from food. And if you're malnourished, you're at risk of a range of medical problems, according to Medical News Today. 10. You may damage your organs. Not only can your digestive organs be compromised by drinking too much vodka every night, Instead, almost every organ in your body is beaten when you drink too much alcohol in different ways, and none of them are beautiful. According to Healthline, if you consume too much vodka every day for years, the following may occur. Your frontal lobe may shrink, your heart may be damaged, you may be more susceptible to lung disease, liver function may decrease, you may have pancreatitis, you can fight infertility, your bones you may be thin and you may hurt the central nervous system. And if you become physically dependent on alcohol, withdrawal symptoms can include anxiety, irregular heartbeat, high blood pressure, nausea, tremor and even hallucinations. Finally, if you drink vodka every night while pregnant, not only will you be at higher risk of miscarriage, but your baby may be born with fetal alcohol syndrome. With all those devastating effects, it is clear that one should drink in moderation and be careful not to drink too much. 11. You can increase your risk of cancer. Unfortunately, people who drink vodka every night, drinking alcohol every day are associated with an increased risk, according to researcher Dr. Sarah M. Hartz. Drinking a glass or two about four days a week seems to protect against cardiovascular disease, but drinking every day eliminates those benefits, she explained in an interview with Medical News Today. In regards to cancer risk, any drinking is detrimental. That doesn't mean you have to give up vodka altogether if you're worried about the risk of cancer, but taking it daily may not be the safest approach, like Noel Lo Conte, an oncologist. Correspondence and associate professor at the University of Wisconsin. We do not recommend complete abstinence. Perhaps there is an amount of drinks okay, she shared in an interview with NPR. But from a cancer prevention standpoint, drinking as little alcohol as possible would be the best strategy. 12. You can become dependent on alcohol. If you drink vodka every night in large quantities, it's likely that you could become dependent on it, according to Dr. Howard C. Becker, professor of psychiatry. Continuing excessive alcohol consumption may lead to the development of dependence related to the withdrawal syndrome when the consumption of alcohol ends or is significantly reduced. He wrote in an article in the Journal of Alcohol Research. This syndrome includes physical signs as well as psychological symptoms that contribute to psychological suffering and discomfort. That does not seem pleasant. To avoid becoming dependent on alcohol, or develop any other health risks that may occur when drinking it, you should watch out for signs that you drink too much. Abstinence may be the best option, according to Medical News Today. That means drinking vodka every day is really a dice pill for your health. But according to the CDC, moderate alcohol consumption, one drink per day for women and two drinks per day for men, and not every day, is recommended when you drink. 13. This is what happens to your body. Let's talk about whiskey. There are countless popular country songs written about it, and the popularity of this drink only continues to grow in both media and sales. According to a report made by Global Market Insights, Inc., the whiskey market will exceed $84 billion worldwide by 2025. There is a growing appreciation for bourbon among millennia in contrast to beer and some other things, distillery chairman Mikta Joseph Malioko told CNBC. In 2018, the longest living woman in the UK, Grace Jones, aka Amazing Grace, attributed her long life to the glass of whiskey she drank every night. She told Gloucestershire Live, I started having a nightly amount of it when I was 50 years old. I've had it every night for the last 60 years and I certainly don't intend to stop right now. So what is there to drink whiskey every night? This is what happens to your body when you drink whiskey regularly. 
everyone is completely different when it comes to the flavor and type of wine they like, and whiskey is definitely an appealing type with a certain set of taste buds. However, a person's genetic makeup has a big impact on how whiskey affects their body. For a person, whiskey is often considered to be more than a men's drink. Fortunately, Jim Beam was at the forefront of changing this perception, because actress Mila Kunis endorsed the company's whiskey in their ad. Interestingly, women are said to be better at whiskey testing than men, according to science. This is obviously due to their increased sense of smell, as Forbes noted. It should not be said that people who need to take medicine and drink whiskey, or any other type of alcohol for that matter, may be at significant risk for the more negative effects of the drink. This also applies to pregnant women, current or recovering alcoholics and people with liver disease, via Harvard University. 14. You will consume less calories and carbs. For wine enthusiasts who do not want to have a beer belly, whiskey is a great option. It contains no carbohydrates and almost no sugar, as noted by Daily Daily. It also contains the least calories compared to beer and most wines, according to Medline Plus. Some studies even suggest that drinking whiskey can help a person lose weight. According to Harvard University, moderate drinking can be especially beneficial if you have low HDL without increasing it with diet and exercise. HDL is a good cholesterol, and it helps eliminate excess cholesterol in a person's blood to keep a person's body in better condition through the Mayo Clinic. However, keep in mind that adding any kind of mixer to whiskey can increase your calories. Caroline Cedarquist, MD, said, if you are looking for a lower calorie alternative, avoid flavored vodkas and spices and go to the initial or simple option offered, Caroline Cedarquist, MD, told GQ. So when you order Jack and Coke, maybe hold Coke. 15. You can help ease a cold. When a person feels just a little bit under the weather, whiskey won't do it wrong. After all, even in the prohibition of the 1920s when alcohol was banned throughout the United States, doctors would prescribe whiskey to patients for medicinal purposes. There may have been some who were prescribed because of medical needs, but it was really a way for some doctors and pharmacists to make some extra money. Daniel Ocron, author of The Last Call, The Rise and Fall of Prohibition, told SmithsonianMag.com. However, as modern medicine and science have improved over time, studies today show that there are actually some health benefits of drinking only one glass of whiskey on a sick day, via HuffPost. Although there is no cure for the common cold, whiskey has properties that can help alleviate its symptoms and help make a person feel much better. Alcohol relaxes blood vessels a little and that makes your mucous membranes easier to handle infections, Dr. William Schaffner of Vanderbilt University Medical Center told ABC News. So if you feel ill, why not drink whiskey every night for just a few nights? 16. You can help improve the immune system. Turns out, it might be a good idea to have hot kids more often. If people drink whiskey every night, they might not even get sick in the first place, according to a study done by Oregon Health and Science University. Their experiments showed that moderate drinking or less daily drinks for women and two or less for men, according to Harvard University, could help boost the immune system and even help fight infection. The key to staying healthy is drinking in moderation. Excessive drinking, research shows, does not provide similar results. If you have a family history of alcohol abuse, or are at risk or have been abusers, we do not recommend going out and drinking to improve the immune system, said Ilham Mesoudi, author of the study. Help said. But for a normal person, for example, a glass of wine with dinner, it seems generally to improve health and cardiovascular function. And now we can add the immune system to the list. That book. Quote. Because of this, it's not uncommon for many of the action movie characters to be shown pouring whiskey over their wounds in an emergency situation, though there are better ways to clean the wound. Dot. According to a study, the properties of whiskey help eliminate the bacteria that humans unconsciously put into our bodies, even bacteria that can live on ice that we drink. To prove this the study placed stones contaminated with four different types of bacteria in different beverages. These include vodka, peach tea, coke, whiskey, martini and energy drink. Later, when they grew bacteria in different drinks, whiskey was the only one that didn't allow any bacteria to grow in it, through the US Health and Science Council. That's all reason to drink whiskey every night, in moderation, of course. You can help the health of the heart of. Grace Jones, who was the oldest woman in the UK, told Gloucestershire Live, my doctor said, keep up with Grace Whiskey, that's good for your heart. Dot. Single quote quote. Turns out, her doctor got into something. 
WebMD looked at 84 studies showing that people who enjoyed their daily drinks, or less, were 14 to 25 percent less likely to be diagnosed with heart disease than those who didn't. This may be due to the higher HDL cholesterol found in whiskey. Whiskey drinkers are also thought to absorb more antioxidants than those who drink red wine, which may help protect against coronary heart disease via BBC News. However, because whiskey affects different people in different ways, Harvard University found that for a 30-year-old, the risks outweigh the benefits. For a 60-year-old, one drink a day may have more protection against heart disease than the potential harm. So be sure to consider that when deciding if you should drink whiskey every night. 17. It can affect your memory. If you drink whiskey every day, we imagine that having a glass will be especially satisfying at the end of a long shift. However, whiskey drinks can't make people nauseous, or make people nauseous, as assistant professor of neuroscience at Brown University, Carla Cowan, noted to Forbes. She added, so why do we find them so rewarding? She added, why do we remember the good things about them that aren't bad things? Sure, drinking enough whiskey can cause memory delays, and sometimes even judgments, but her research found that drinking whiskey can also influence the way you sign up. Breast. A team at Brown University concluded that whiskey completely changes the protein in the brain responsible for memory formation. Cow noted that she feared this might make people dependent on alcohol in general, because it completely changed the way a wired person's brain drank when drinking. With too much drinking, this can lead to serious mind-altering problems. After three drinks, with a half-hour break, the road does not return to normal after 24 hours, she said. Another study found that men who drank 2.5 glasses a day showed signs of dementia earlier than those who drank mild to moderate alcohol. Cheer for memories. Drinking whiskey can reduce the risk of dementia and Alzheimer's disease. It seems that drinking whiskey may help a person's brain in the long run. A study from Boston concluded that drinking one to six drinks per week can actually reduce the risk of dementia and Alzheimer's disease in older adults. On the other hand, various studies have shown that drinking too much alcohol like whiskey can have the complete opposite effect, via BBC News. So we better enjoy a glass only six days a week as the study shows. In our opinion, Monday is definitely one of those days. You can reduce stress and worry. I need a drink, which is what many people are sorry to say after a long day at the office or perhaps after the reunion. Unnecessary stress family. Whiskey is a depressant, meaning it slows a person's central nervous system via very well mind. Here's what makes a smooth whiskey feel soothing after a hard day, and face it. The world today is a society more anxious than ever, so it is important to be smart about how to deal with stress. According to a study published in Alcoholism, Clinical and Clinical Research in 2006, 20% of people with social anxiety disorders also created a form of negative dependence on alcohol. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention says drinking a lot of alcohol includes 8 or more drinks a week for women and 15 or more drinks a week for men. So if you drink whiskey every night, you may feel calmer, but be sure not to overdo it. 18. You can dry out your skin. Although drinking a glass of whiskey daily can help relieve a person's stress, unfortunately, it can stress their skin. After all, there are many ways that drinking alcohol affects your appearance. While all types of alcohol can have detrimental effects on your skin, dark liquids contain congeners, which are impurities, makeup artist Molly Leahy told Stylecaster. She added, the more you consume the same kind, your skin will look worse the next day. The ingredients in whiskey dehydrate a person through ACNEs, causing the skin to dry out and age more quickly over time. Dr. Dimitri Rabkin, founder of Aesthetica MD, said, spirits can also cause redness by dilating blood vessels, causing spider veins and capillaries to burst, especially around the nose and cheeks. Quote dot. However, even in all those cases, one can still enjoy a glass of whiskey as long as they are careful with the skin. Talking to Dr. Isabel Sharkur, a natural therapist, Pop Sugar advises people to moisturize in the morning after drinking to avoid dry skin. 19. You can extend your life drink up, because it turns out drinking like whiskey has been proven to actually extend one's life, giving them more time to enjoy whiskey. A research team at the University of California has studied what makes certain people live and over 90 years of age. Their research shows that people who enjoy two glasses of wine every night have a better chance of dying earlier. I have no explanation for that, but I firmly believe that drinking modestly improves longevity, neuroscientist Claudia Carr was told Independent. Studies continue to prove this. 
Another study done at the University of Texas shows that drinking can actually help a person live longer. However, moderation is the key. They found that drinking a lot of alcohol actually increased a person's risk of death by 45%. Even more shocking, people who did not drink any alcohol during the study had a 51% increased risk. 20. You can damage your liver. It is important not to drink too much when trying to reap the benefits that whiskey can bring. Drinking more than one glass a day provides no benefit that this drink of choice has been shown to bring. In fact, it can be seriously harmful to your body. One of the largest organs that can be easily destroyed by whiskey is the liver. We've all been warned about this, but exactly how much? Yes, by drinking three or four drinks a day, a person is at a much higher risk of chronic liver disease, according to Vice's report. It may not sound like much and a person may feel perfectly fine after drinking it for years, but the damage accumulates over time and will surely catch up with any whiskey lover. It's sad, because when people get sick because of this, they're usually in the 30s to mid-40s, said medical director Stephen Flam from Northwestern Memorial Hospital in Chicago. A drink every day seems to keep the doctor away, but the best whiskey is limited there. You will increase your stamina, so moderation is the key. Drinking whiskey in moderation is the key to its benefits, but what exactly does moderation mean? According to Harvard University, this is a daily drink for women and no more than two for men. However, a drink does not mean filling a glass of smooth Tennessee whiskey, though, sometimes that seems like a great idea. Instead, one glass is 1.5 ounces. However, over time, one glass of whiskey every night can make a person feel different from before. Building tolerance to alcohol can be dangerous because it can cause excessive drinking and over time, the liver learns more easily and quickly decomposes alcohol in one system. The brain has the same reaction. It will actually change and adjust itself to handle alcohol so well that a person will no longer have any effect among the dreaded people they may feel when they first drink. When you drink too much, your brain will never be the same. This system is forever changing, the director of the National Institute on Alcohol Abuse and Alcoholism, George F. Koob, PhD, told HuffPost.